Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this video. Before we make a start on it, I've got a quick announcement. I've been lucky enough to be selected to play for the Eve Merton Dreams Trust Legends Charity Game Doncaster Rovers against Sheffield Wednesday on the 7th of May 2022 at the Eco Power Stadium. A big thank you to CK Decorators for their sponsorship so far and donations are greatly appreciated. Link in the description down below for CK Decorators socials and the donation page as well. Uh, and tickets are available, so please get in touch on my socials for more information on that. And with that being said, let's get on with today's video. So guys, welcome to this match day vlog, a huge South Yorkshire derby. Big three points up for grabs for both Doncaster Rovers and Sheffield Wednesday for two very different reasons. I'm looking forward to it. Conditions outside are not great thanks to the storm. Um, it's not as windy as it was last night, but there's still a bit of rain. There's a bit of a breeze about, so maybe the conditions might be a bit of a leveller for this game. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Sheffield Wednesday doing very well in the league. Uh, beat us already at their place. The return of Darren Moore, we'll see what reception he gets. For me, I think he left us in the lurch a little bit, so it'll be a, a frosty reception from me. Um, but I understand his reasons for leaving. Um, but yeah, as I say, looking forward to this one. Hopefully we can just play our game, um, restrict Sheffield Wednesday from, from getting a foothold in the game. And who knows, we might come out of this one with something. If you want a bit more information um, or a bit, bit more of a detailed look at this upcoming fixture, I will leave the preview in the top corner of the screen. But all that's left to do is get down to the ground, get the family's thoughts, uh, get their predictions, try and grab a few fans for fans' thoughts. I was supposed to be down at the ground early um, selling raffle tickets for the Eve Merton Dreams Trust charity game. They are still available. Um, obviously, the weather conditions and a few other bits and pieces stood in the way of doing that but they are still available if you want a raffle ticket 50 50 raffle one pound a ticket 500 pounds to the winner 500 pounds to eve merton dreams trust please get in touch on my twitter link is in the description down below and we'll get that sorted out um but yeah let's get down to the ground see the confirmed team lineup and get the thoughts of the family and a couple of fans so we're down at the ground there's only me and my dad here today isn't there? yeah it's gonna yeah. feel very strange yeah. um i've got Max's prediction of 1-1, so a little bit of positivity from Max. And Chris has gone for 2-0 to Donny. Um, what are you thinking, Dad? What am I thinking? Yeah, I think Wednesday's will go as soon as I said I think. I think it'll be 2-1. We've never had never hit to one bounce this season yet. So. No, no, we've not been good this season, have we? I don't think we've looked like ever hit to one bounce. So no. My gut feeling is Wednesday's will do us. I'll be quite happy if I'm wrong. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. I'm not coming expecting a winner. I'll be happy with a draw. I'll be ecstatic if we don't win. Yeah, I'll snap your hand off for a shitty nil nil. <laughs> <laughs> but no, looking forward to a, to a good atmosphere. They're fetching over 4,000, so. As, as, as expected, really. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. Um, but there we go, I've gone with a 3-1 uh, to Wednesday, I think I went with. You're as optimistic as I am then, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I went with 3-0 to Lincoln yeah. and uh, and it went in our favour, so it's... it's... Mike, Mike at work, who's been watching your vlog, says, how come you don't do vlogs and you come to a game expecting to lose? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're coming to games. <laughs> we're coming to a game this season, Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, so we're, we don't expect much more, mate. <laughs> we're realists, not optimists, <laughs> yeah. but... Yeah, hopefully we get a good a good performance and a good result uh, to go with it. So we're down here now. Let's see if we can get some fans for fans' thoughts and see the confirmed team lineup. So welcome to fans' thoughts. I've got a group of Wednesday fans. If you just want to shout your names yeah. out and, and yeah, say hello for the channel, yeah. Thomas, yeah, yeah, Thomas. Rianne. Rianne. James, James, Frank, and Frank. So thank you for being on this segment of the show, guys. Uh, I hope you have. A goodish day, <laughs> day here. Um, first question, first season back in League One. Uh, you sat fairly close to the playoffs in eight, a couple of points away. Do you think you've got enough to break into that playoff picture and potentially bounce straight back to the championship? We have when we get players back. Yeah, we're going to get players back. So uh, I think we'll do it. Oh, another one oh. squeaking in. <laughs> yeah, we've got a, we've got an excellent midfield, but we are lacking on the forwards. Injuries of. of, of uh, Really happened this year. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we can do it. There we go. Yeah. Agree with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And hopefully Rovers stop up as well. 
Oh, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> Hopefully we do. Uh, we've, we've given ourselves a lot to do, um, but we, we will see. Uh, in my preview, I went with Barry Bannon as the one to watch. I think he's a little bit of a cheat code for League One. He's a very good player on his day. <laughs> um, you mentioned Luongo before we started the camera rolling. Is there anybody else that we should be watching out for? Lee Marvin and Byers as well. They're good players. Yeah, Byers is decent. I think Byers changed the game when he came on at Hillsborough against us. Uh, yeah, Mendes yeah, Mende yeah. Lang picked up an injury, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, injury list as long as your arm, we've had yeah, it as well this season, yeah. it's the difficult. Problem is, there's game changers are all injured, like yeah. your Windus and that, that kind of player, they're out. Yeah. And I just can't see out up front, we just haven't got no, nothing up front at the moment. I'll and take the, and that. The, and the first goal today will be absolutely vital. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very if vital. We, if we get the first goal, it'll be difficult for all of us because they've struggled. What, we had six defeats on trot here. Yeah. yeah, six defeats on trot, the worst record is eight. So. We could do with stopping that, but like you Come say, on, <laughs> first goal is definitely vital. We've seen it this season where we've we've gone down and just got absolutely capitulated. So hopefully, we get the first goal um, and don't concede it. But with that, I've gone with a three-one score prediction. Um, but from what you guys have said, I'm getting a little bit more confident. Um, if we start at that side, score prediction for us, mate. Two-nil. Rovers. That'll do. Nil-nil. <laughs> Nil-nil. I'd snap your hand off for a nil-nil, <laughs> definitely. I'll go for 2-1 and a nervous finish. 2-1 nervous finish. And then I'll go for 1-0 Wednesdays, but I'm still not sure. So a little bit of a lack of confidence, yeah, but yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah. you have a good day. Cheers. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Safe, safe journey yeah. Cheers, yeah. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It could, it could be a quiet game in there, couldn't it? So just in the Bellevue bar and the squad's come in, we've got Jonathan Mitchell in goal, Kyle Noyle, Ollie Younger, Joseph Alowu, Roshan Williams and Ben Jackson at the back. Midfield of Matt Smith, Tommy Rowe, Dan Gardner, and we've got Meepo, Odebeku, and Rio Griffiths up front. And subs Jones, Clayton, Dodu, Martin, Agard, Horton, and Hassani. So hopefully that 11 gets us some points today. Come on, you Reds. Come on, Rovers. Yes. Yeah. 
I've seen it all the way round yeah. where <laughs> we've done it all and then they've gone and nicked it at any time, so I'll take that. Yeah. But happy to be 1 0 in front, obviously, at half time. Hopefully, we can continue this shooting towards our fans and we just need to get behind them and hopefully pull this through because this will be a massive three points going into a, yeah, going into a very favourable run of fixtures, but nothing's favourable in League One. It'll so, just give them that bit of confidence. I think if they win today, they can give them that bit of confidence to keep going on and doing it. We've got, we'll have them, and then hopefully we'll have to talk about it first time. Uh, I don't mind if my predictions are <laughs> No, uh, neither do I. Uh, so yeah. Definitely can blow a cancel game with Jeffrey and watch that. Yeah, I'd take that. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go watch the second half. Come on boys!
think we've deserved something. 3 1. Full time, Rovers 1, Chef Wednesday 3, and that is a tough one to take. We had a glorious opportunity at 1 0 at the back post. A low rule sliding in, just couldn't get his feet sorted out, could he? I, yeah, think, I, I don't know how it did go in, to be fair. No, I think if that goes in, it could be a different story. But the story is, Chef Wednesday turned us around. Um, Two good goals. Yeah. But Berahino's touch and turn was decent. Bannon's little dink was it was nice to be fair. Um, good football leading up to it as well. Uh, Patterson's header, very brave to, to get it back to 1-1. Um, yeah. What I did see tonight today though was fight, desire, a bit of passion. I think that going into a more favourable run of fixtures yeah. against the likes of Gillingham crew. We need to do it against we've everybody, got not just Wednesday. Yeah, we've that, got that were good, good, it were a good show for lads, to be fair. Yeah, and to be fair, we went in 1-0, and I thought it was a poor first half from us, didn't really have a look in. The second half, much better, and we conceded three goals in it. And yeah. it, 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 it and very strange, the and saved a penalty and as well. Penalty. Um, this, disappointing, tough one to take, but did I expect any points from this one? No, I didn't. Do I think we deserve points from this one? I think we deserve one. Yes, yeah. I think we deserve yeah. something from it. Would have been fair, I think. But yeah. we got nothing. We got nothing. So we move on to Tuesday. Accrington Stanley, bogey team. Let's see if we can uh, t turn that bit of a hoodoo around. We need to get some points on the board to, to try and keep this glimmer of hope yeah. alive. I will um, say one thing though. Wednesday's what quietest 4,000 fans I've ever seen until this. Until they, they went to one goal. goal. Yeah, second goal, yeah. and then they did get very noisy. Yeah. Very um, quiet. I've, but, I've heard 200 fans make more noise than Wednesdays and that's yeah. no slur on your club or anything but I just thought you were, you were very nervous as yeah. fans yeah I think yeah I'd go with that more nerves and yeah, thinking yeah. We're, we're getting turned over here yeah, uh, yeah we were nervous you could see I think if our second goal would have gone in um, yeah. they'd have been on Moore's back without a doubt but yeah. when they went 3-1 up they started singing in favour more which, which, which happens yeah. but I did expect a lot more noise from Wednesday fans for our game without yeah. a doubt so. So that's it, Rovers 1, Wednesday 3, end of this vlog, um, I will be doing the live stream with Punk Chef, I might not invite him on to be fair, we'll see if he's, uh, if he's nice to me or not, <laughs> um, but yeah, so join us on that, if you've enjoyed this, big thumbs up for us please, comments in the section down below, subscribe if you haven't already, as always thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.